Axial Lift 2L Plus. The operating room setup fits conveniently on a Mayo stand and follows the procedure sequentially from left to right. First, palpate the paracoxygeal notch and make a 2 cm incision lateral to the coccyx. Next, insert the dissecting tool and advance it along the midline of the anterior sacral surface with fluoroscopic monitoring. At approximately the S1 S2 junction, engage the beveled guide pin and tap it into L5. Once the guide wire is engaged, use a series of sequential dilators to create a working channel. A dilator sheath is attached to the 10 mm dilator. The dilator sheath is left in the sacrum to create a transosseous working channel. Drill into L5 S1 disc space with the 9 mm cannulated drill. Prepare the disc space with a series of nitinol disc cutters and and plate rasps, varying in length and cutting actions. Each of the four cutters and rasps are designed to debulk the nucleus pulposus and lightly abrade the vertebral end plates circumferentially up to the 3 cm footprint while creating a bleeding bed for fusion. Use the tissue extractors between the four cutters to extract the diseased disc. Use the bone graft inserter to fill the disc space with a mixture of autologous blood and demineralized bone material. Remove the 10 mm sheath with the 8 mm dilator. Insert the 12 mm dilator and sheath into the working channel. Remove the 12 mm dilator and leave the 12 mm sheath in place. Drill into the L5 S1 disc space with the 10.5 mm drill. Using the 12 mm dilator tamp, Advance the 12 mm sheath until it is flush with the inferior end plate of L5, effectively pushing bone graft material radially. Advance the 9 mm two level drill through the L5 vertebral body and into the L4 L5 disc space. Perform the second discectomy at the L4 L5 level using the same series of nitinol disc cutters and and plate rasps. Extract the diseased disc with the tissue extractors. Fill the disc space using the bone graft inserter with a mixture of autologous blood and demineralized bone material. Drill just into the L4 L5 disc space with the 10.5 mm drill. Next, drill just into the inferior L4 end plate with the 9.0 mm drill. Insert 2L plus guide wire. With the assistance of Axial Lift 2L plus dilator trial templates, the proper dilator trial for insertion can be determined. An exchange sequence occurs to establish the working channel for implantation of the 2L plus implant. The exchange bushing and tubular retractor are inserted sequentially over the guide wire. While holding the tubular retractor on the face of the sacrum, insert two fixation wires to hold the tubular retractor in place. Insert the selected dilator trial over the guide wire until it is advanced into the L4 vertebral body. From this placement, determine the L4, L5 rod and S1 anchor sizing. Assemble the selected L4, L5 rod, distraction rod and S1 anchor onto the dual driver and insert into the prepared channel simultaneously. The L4 L5 rod is designed to distract the vertebral bodies, restore disc height, and indirectly decompress the neural foramen. If needed, 
the L4, L5 rod can be advanced independently of the S1 anchor using the L4, L5 driver. Use the counter torque tube and distraction driver to advance the internal distraction rod. They are designed to distract the L5, S1 vertebral bodies, restore disc height, and indirectly decompress the neural foramen. The S1 anchor remains stationary in the sacrum during the L5 S1 distraction. Insert the fixation rod to lock the L4 L5 rod, distraction rod, and S1 anchor into a solid construct. The axial lift 2L plus procedure is complete via surgeon's preference of posterior instrumentation. Axial lift 2L plus.